Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise right now, and to give him all the glory. Today is the day, hallelujah, that the Lord has made, and I mean every last one of us, I mean every last one of us should always be glad and always rejoice in it. We serve an awesome God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a powerful God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who still sits on the throne, who still performs miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And he is so worthy, my brothers and sisters. He is so worthy to be praised. Every day is a day to always rejoice in the Lord. To always pour your heart out to him. To always seek him. To always put your faith, your trust, and your hope into Jesus. To always have a conversation with the Lord. Because it does not matter what you're going through. It does not matter what you're facing. At the end of the day. Jesus still expects to hear from you. Point blank period, he still want to know what's going on because he is concerned about you. Everybody that you're talking to about your problems, about your situation, your circumstances, they really don't care about what you're going through. They just want to be nosy and signified just to hear so they can go back and report to other people what you're going through. So why not talk to Jesus, the one who cares for you, the one who can help you? Why not go to him? It only makes sense, right? That's why I'm always encouraging my brothers and sisters that praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing because the God we serve, the God we praise, he watches over every last one of us. And he has it in the palm of his hands. And he is working everything out to his perfect will. And if you have not welcomed the Lord into your home. To your life or even your prayer closet room. And if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus. I want to encourage you right now today. Please do so. His arms are open wide. God is good all the time. And all the time. God is good. And he is so worthy. He is so worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we just come before you right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me all thanks. Give me all praise. Give me all glory. We just thank you, Heavenly Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, because you make all things new, Father God, in every last one our life. We thank you, Father God, because it is you, Jesus, that is moving, moving mountains on our behalf right now. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, because you have the power to turn anybody's hearts around towards you. And I believe right now that in the mighty name of Jesus that you already got the key in somebody's heart, God, they're turning their life and they're giving their life, their all to you right now today. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we just thank you, Father God, for everything that you've done and everything that you're doing right now. We thank you, Father God, because you are the way, you are the truth, and you are the light. Glory be to God. We just thank you, Heavenly Father God, because you make yourself available for those who cry to you, for those who who seek you, and for those who always kneel down before you, Father God. Oh, Father God, you continue to have your way with your sons, your daughters, even myself today, God. You continue to lift us up right now today, God. Put a smile on our face right now today, Father God. Just speak a word to us right now today, Father God. Let us know that we ain't got to worry no more, that we can rest in your words and rest in your promises, Father God, because, God, there's nothing too hard for you, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, for your love that you continue to give for us. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, for how patient you are with us, God. We thank you, Father God, for this word that we're about to receive, this powerful message right now today, Father God. That's going to keep us full today, keep us satisfied today. And there's no other place, Heavenly Father God, that we'd rather be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God. Give me your thanks, give me your praise, give me your glory. Today is the day, hallelujah, that you have made, and we're so glad to be a 
part of it and rejoice in it. Oh, Heavenly Father God, allow your love to move through this place. Allow your presence to move through this place. Allow your angels to join us in praise and worship, Father God, in this place right now today. Heavenly Father God, let your will be done today, Father God. Let your words go out and she not return by board today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this is your time. This is your moment. Glory and hallelujah. Did I know for a fact that you about to show up? And I know for a fact that you about to show out. I believe and I declare the decree right now that day in the mighty name of Jesus that someone's going to be healed today. Someone's going to be delivered today. Someone is ready to give their life over to you right now today, Jesus. And the angels are rejoicing in heaven right now. And you will. You shall get all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Heavenly Father God, this is your house. The house that you built on solid ground. The house that you built on solid foundation. The house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Heavenly Father, Abba, Father, you are welcome right now. You are invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord right here in your sanctuary, right here on your YouTube channel, right here on your platform, right here in my brother's homes, right here in my brother's life, right here in my sister's homes, right here in my sister's life. Heavenly Father God, I'm just asking you, Father God, right now, for you to move like you never moved before my brother and sister's life right now today. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to lift their spirits up right now today. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to speak a word to my brother and sisters right now. Let them know that everything is already done right now today, God. Continue to anoint their head right now today, Father God. Allow their cups continue to overflow. Allow their lamps continue to burn, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, to send them an angel right now today, Father God. Send them a sign right now today, God. I'm praying and believing and trusting, Father God, for your healing and restoration for my brothers and sisters, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, it's not too hard for you and it's not too difficult for you, Father God. I'm asking you, Father God, for a favor and the favor that I'm asking for and I'm trusting and I'm believing and I know that it's done right now as a blessing for my brothers and sisters, a breakthrough for my brothers and sisters, a miracle for my brothers and sisters, that you will open up a door for my brothers and sisters, that you will put them at the right place at the right time for my brothers and sisters, that you will send rain in a harvest my brothers and sisters, that you would send them the help they need right now today, God, for my brothers and sisters. And Father God, your word said that we can ask anything in your name, that it should be given to us. John 15, 5 and 8, Father God, so I know that it's done. Glory be to God, because your word says so. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in your sanctuary. Right here on your YouTube channel. Right on your platform. Right here in my sister's home. Right here in my sister's life. Right here in my brother's home. Right here in my brother's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now today because you are a comforter. I'm asking you right now today to control our thoughts, control our minds so we hear, we hear Jesus' soft, still voice right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking to move through this place like you know it moved before so we catch the Holy Ghost fire right now today. As we repent of our sins today, Father God, please forgive us for our sins today. Known and unknown right now. Clean as that's why that's no right now today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sins. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, how blessed I am to always pray. Praise and have fellowship with all my brothers, all my sisters, and one body in Christ. Heavenly Father God, I'm here today to let you know that I'm available for service. I'm available for the kingdom, but most of all, Jesus, hallelujah, that I'm available for you. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, it's something that's always in my mind about you. It's something that stays in my spirit about you. It's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue and fruit of my lips about you. And I just got to tell you how I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. Jesus, I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and I shout out your holy name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I pour my heart out to you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I'm, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I want more, I want more, I want more, yeah, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. We serve an awesome God, an amazing God, and he's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. And you can always count, you can always depend, and you can always rely on Jesus. Amen, amen. Today's word is, you my sisters, you my brothers, you need to make a change. It's not them that need to make a change. It is you that need to make a change. And the reason why God is putting this word in my spirit for, for y'all to hear it and for y'all to make that change and start correcting some things in y'all life because some of y'all guys are still doing the same thing and getting the same results. And you know exactly who you are. You can go ahead and admit it right now. You can keep it real with yourself right now because you beat yourself up and you're blaming God for something. And God said that it's not me that's doing it. It is you that's doing it. And you, know, you keep crying out to me. God said you don't, you don't realize how many times I got to wipe my sons and my daughter's face at night because they up all night tossing and turning, crying, talking about why this and why that. God said, no need to keep crying about the same thing that you are doing because you are creating the problem. You are creating the situation. You are creating the issue until you change that need to be changed. You're going to continue to go through, hallelujah, the same thing that you are going through. He said, look at the pattern. The pattern is the same. It's not them they're doing it. It is you. He said, how much longer are you going to are you going to continue to go through the same thing over and over? It's like it's just like a repeated cycle. But you part of that cycle. You are part of that situation. You are part of that circumstances. Because you can do something about it. You can't expect anything to take place or the things to take change in your life until you, my brothers and sisters, until you correct it. It is like a GPS that you put in. And you put in your location where you're going. And once you put the GPS in, the location in your GPS, it tells you how long it's going to take you to get to your destination. But no, my sisters, no, my brothers, you think that you can outsmart the GPS. And every time when you think that you can outsmart the GPS, it tells you and informs you you're going the wrong way. Recalculating, recalculating. It's telling you that you are doing something wrong. It's telling you that's not the way to go. It's telling you you don't went down the wrong path and you're still trying to ignore what the GPS is telling you. It's telling you for a reason that recalculate or reroute you, but you're not going down the way that God is telling you to go. You're trying to make your own way and say, nah. I know this the way. I know this the way right here. So if I go this way right here, I know things gonna be better. And the moment that you go that way, guess what happened? You run to a dead end every time. And get what the GPS saying? Recalculating, recalculating. Do you know why the GPS saying recalculating? It's because you got off track somewhere. Come on now, I'm talking to somebody right now. Just keep it real, cause we all have been that way. It's telling you that you're that you are going the wrong way. That's not the way that God has designed for you to go, my sisters and brothers. That's why it's saying recalculating. So you're going down the right way, that GPS ain't going to say nothing. It's going to continue to keep going and going and going until you get to your final destination. The reason why it's saying recalculating is because you are still going through the same thing over and over and over again. When many times, even your mother probably told you, uh-uh, so-and-so ain't no good. And you think that you outsmart your mother. You think that you know more than your mother, but she already been down that road before. She know the trees from the forest. You don't know from the trees from the forest yet. You really don't. And how many times you going to continue to hit your head going through the same thing over and over? You cannot make a person change to better themselves. As some of y'all right now that you're trying to fix somebody. You can't fix him. You can't fix her. The only thing that you need to do is fix who you are. Until you fix, hallelujah, who you are, you're going to continue to go through the same thing over and over and over again. So it's not them 
they need to be changed. It's not them that need to be corrected. The person who need to change, and the person who need to be corrected is you. Come on now. I've been that way before too. God, I knew everything. Young and dumb. Even my parents told me something. I said, uh huh? They ain't what it is. They said, hmm, you'll see. And as time was going on, I was making, I was in the same situation, the same boat, the same circumstances. I said, why am I going through the same thing over and over again? Why does it look like, why does it look like the same test, the same road, the same forest, the same mountain, the same problem? I got so accustomed to the same thing, I knew it at the back of my hand. I knew then it was something wrong with the situation. I knew then it was something wrong with the picture. So what I did, I took myself out of the problem. I took myself out of the situation. And what I did, I looked myself in the mirror. And I said, mirror, mirror on the wall. What is the world is going on with LT right now today? And, and I look at that mirror. And that mirror was showing me a reflection of me and what I was doing. I could not expect that other person what they were doing. I had to check myself. When I started checking myself and I started examining myself for who I was and what I was doing, I said, I have to make some corrections about who I am. I got to make some change about me and what I want out of life. And the moment I started making a change, the moment I started correcting myself, I say, self, I'm not going down that same road no more. I'm not going down that same path no more. I'm not doing the same thing what I used to do because the results is still the same. And it's coming up still the same. I cannot expect change until what I change with myself. In the moment I started changing myself, my GPS say, now, I'm rerouting you. And once my GPS started to reroute me, it never came back on again and said, recalculating. How many of y'all GPS right now today? It's still saying, recalculating right now. Let's keep it real right now. Just be honest with yourself. You ain't got to be honest with me. All you have to do is be honest with Jesus. Say, Jesus, I don't know what's going on, but I realize I'm still looking at the same thing. I'm in the same predicament, in the same situation. I hope, I thought that if I did it this way, I did it this way, that this person here was going to change. That I was going to see a change. But God's like it's getting worse and worse and worse. And the Lord's going to tell you the reason why it's getting worse and worse and worse is not them that's making the problem worse and worse. The problem is, it's you because you're still going through the same thing that you went through last year, year before last, and the year before that. And God said, have your eyes haven't seen anything yet? You don't realize you're going down the same situation? You don't realize you're going down the same road? You don't realize you're going down the same path? You don't realize the situation is not them that is you? That you got to do something about that? When are you going to change the situation? Too many of y'all right now, they're trying to change your baby mama, your baby, your baby daddy. You're trying to change your boyfriend, your girlfriend. You can't change them. And you're still trying to stick with them thinking, oh, oh, they told me they sorry. Oh, they told me they're going to do better. You listen to that whining, crying, dumb crap you want to. They showed you who they was several times ago. Guess what they're going to continue to do? Do the same thing. All they're doing is drag you in the mud, but you put yourself in that mud. You just went alone. When are you going to say, you know what? I ain't going down this route no more. Mm -mm. Because the way that you're going, you ain't going nowhere. You ain't leaving nowhere. Because I go down, if I continue to go down the road with you going, I'm not going to prosper out of life. I want prosperity in my life. I want blessings to come in my life. I want miracles to come in my life. I want things to work out for me. And things cannot work out for you, my brothers and sisters, if you continue to do the same thing over and over and over again. Now, I don't know who I'm talking to today, but you know for a fact 
that you got to start making some change, that you got to start making corrections about yourself and about the situation that you're in and the people that you're still involved in right now. Let them go. It ain't going to hurt you. It doesn't matter how bad they talk about you. A person going to talk about you if you're doing good or if you're doing bad. They're going to talk about you if you're alive or you're dead. Let them go. You can do bad by yourself. But if you start making the right correction, you'll never be, you'll never do bad by yourself. And you'll never be alone. Because Jesus, hallelujah, will always, glory, hallelujah, will be there for you. You have to change the view. It's the point I'm making somebody right now. Because the view that you still being custom ass, that's the same view that everybody see. Change your view. When you change your view, you will see how beautiful life will be. If you change your view, you will not be in the same stale and stagnant situation that you've been in and been accustomed to for quite some time. You should get tired of going down that same road. You should be tired of going and seeing the same thing over and over again. I know your eyes, I know your eyes are hurting. You should be tired, my brothers and sisters. Going through the same thing. You should be tired. And I say tired. You should be sick and tired. Because I was sick and tired. Until I made a change. Until I made a correction. And once I did that, my view was better. It was bright. I can see better. And my GPS never went off again. Say, recalculate. Fix who you are. Change who you are. Because not them. That need to be fixed. It's not them that need to be changed. The person need to be changed and need to be fixed is you. That's the second point I'm making. Keep it real with yourself. The third thing I want you to keep it real with is being honest with Jesus. If you can't be honest with Jesus, you can't be honest with yourself. If you can't be honest with Jesus, you can't be honest with nobody. Those are the three things that's going to change your view. Those are the three things going to change your perspective on life. And I know somebody's going to say, you know what, it's time to make a change. Somebody's going to cry out to God and say, I'm tired. I'm going through the same thing. I got to fix this problem. Get ready. Let's turn our back to Deuteronomy chapter 2. And we're going to read verse 2. That's Deuteronomy chapter 2. And we're going to read verse 2. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Glory be to God. Then the Lord said to me, You have made your way around this hill country long enough. Now turn north. Give the people these orders you're about to pass through. So you can't pass nowhere until you change the mountainside. You can't pass and go nowhere until you change who you are. You can't pass and go through nowhere until you change the situation, until you change the circumstances, until you change what you are going through, what you are facing. You can't go past like playing, it's like playing Monopoly. When they say go, you can't go nowhere until you change looking at the same thing over and over again. How much longer are you going to continue to look at the same thing when God want to, when God want to tell you to go this way, but you still want to go that way? And every time you're going that way, you are taking yourself out of the will of God. When every time you're going that way, that GPS is saying, recalculating, recalculating. Are you following what I'm saying? Because God said, how much longer are you going to continue to go through this countryside? You've been going through it long enough. He said, come on now. You've been going through the same situation. You've been going through the same problems long enough. They said, when are you going to wake up and smell the coffee and say, you don't see the problem? You don't see what you're going through? You don't see what you're facing? You keep ending with the same results? You, you was going forward and boom, you went right back going down the same back path again that you just came out of. And God said, didn't you just come out of that situation? But you're crying to me, telling me you don't like it. They say you must like it because you keep going back down, going back down now. He said you must love it because you're still doing the same thing. He said you must get some kind of excitement or thrill about it because you're doing the same thing but ending up with the same results. How, how long 
are you going to continue to go through what you're going through? How much longer are you going to continue to face what you're still facing? You're crying out to me, but I'm telling you to go this way, but you are refusing to make your own way. Come on now. You can't blame God for the problem. You got to blame yourself. You can't blame them for what you're going through. You got to blame yourself. Amen? Amen. You have made your way around this here country long enough. Now turn north. Give the people these orders. You are about to pass through the territory of your brothers, the descendants of Esau, who live in Syria. They will be afraid of you, but be careful. God wants you to go through. He wants you to give you the pass. But he can't give you the pass. You can't go through. It's because you're still going through what you're going through. They don't need to change. It is you who need to change. It is you they need to fix. Come on now. How much longer are you going to continue to go through what you're going through? Have you went down that path before? Have you dealt with him before? Have you dealt with her before? See, you're a noble person on the chain because you can see the Christ light in their eyes. And if their eyes are still the same and their situation is still the same, their movement is still the same, you can't blame them for who they are. You got to fall. You got to take accountability for your actions because you fell into that same trap again. And some of you are still going through the same thing but ending up with the same results. And God is telling you, have you went down this countryside long enough? Have you seen this mountain long enough? Have you seen this picture long enough? Have you seen this view long enough? How much longer are you going to continue to go through what you're going through? Because for some reason, you must love it. You must like it. You have to enjoy it because you're still going through it. How much longer? It's not them that need to be changed. You need to change who you are. You need to change, my brothers. You need to change, my sisters. Who you are. Change ain't going to hurt nobody. It's good for the body. It's good for the soul. And it's good for the mind. And I believe and I declare right now today, I don't know who God is talking to right now. But somebody say, you know what? I'm tired of going through what I'm going through. I'm tired of going through what I'm going through and end up, ending up with the same results. I'm going to correct who I am and I'm going to change who I am. I'm going to let that old thing go. If they want to continue to go down that same path and that same road, that's them. But I'm changing my view. I'm changing to be a better me. And God is ready for you to say, go. Go north. He want to lead you. He want to take you the route that he wants you to go on. And once you go on his route, you'll never hear your, your GPS saying recalculating ever again. And if you know God is talking to you, go and give him thanks right now. Go and give him some praise right now. And if this word moved you today, if it touched your spirit today, go and hit Jesus like button. Go and hit the subscribe button to us well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life. To guide us, direct us, use us. And I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. By us praying a simple little prayer that God is already working everything out in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happening. Continue to hold on to his unchanged hands and please do not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to keep, continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. I'm seven minutes to LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' glory, holy mighty name. Amen.